In this video, I want to review Neo Financial, tell you all of the great pros and cons of using this new financial institution. I have experience using every single one of their products from their Neo Money, Neo Card, and Neo Invest products. But we're not just going to be covering what this company can offer you today, but also what can offer you into the future. Now, if you've ever used any of what I like to call the big five legacy banks, then you know that they like to charge a fee on practically everything. Even things as simple as monthly or annual fees on your account or charging you whenever you fall below a certain balance. And then they even have the audacity to charge almost next to 0% interest rates in these accounts, even though you're already paying them so much on these fees. Plus, their credit card offerings aren't even that great either, offering you barely any cash back on your purchases. Obviously, you can see that I was with TD Bank, but now that Neo Financial has actually appeared, I've moved almost all my money over to Neo Bank whenever it comes to their money and credit card purchases. Unless, of course, we're talking about American Express, which I also use a lot, but that's for another video. So on to Neo's first product, we have Neo Money, okay? This re-envisions the whole idea of having a checkings and a savings account. What's the point if you can just take all the interest rate that you would in a savings account and apply it to your checkings? So Neo does it a little bit differently. There's a one-stop shop for a single checking account that you can have with a 1.8% interest rate attached to that account, which is among some of the highest in all of Canada. Now, Neo Money, although an online-only checking account, was rated the best high-interest account in Canada by moneysense.ca. But this actually does benefit you a lot, considering that the banks don't have to pay all the fees that go into running a real branch. This is how they're able to actually give you these 1.8% interest rates because their expenses are really low running the business. This means that whenever it comes to Neo Money, there is no monthly or annual fees, no fees at all practically, unless you wanted a printed out statement on paper, which if you're already using a digital only bank account, probably isn't your first selection. This all comes with no minimum deposits in your account, all while needing no minimum balance, still keeping zero fees and paying you 1.8% interest on the money that you do keep in this account. And unlike other up and coming Neo banks such as Coho, which also only has a 1.2% interest rate, which still isn't as high as Neo, they also do have a relationship with Interact, which means that you can send and receive payments directly online absolutely for free using your specific email address, unlike what Coho does where they have this weird specific like Coho e-transfers email that you have to send it to with your account number. And it doesn't make any sense. It's super hard to use. Now, Neo Financial is partnered with Concentra Bank. So this is all CDIC insured up to $100,000. So if the actual financial institution goes down, your money is still safe and insured by the government. So you can practically do everything that you would want to do through your normal banking institution, except now receive interest payments. But whenever it comes to the cons, there are a few, okay? Right now, they don't actually have the mobile check deposits, although that is coming soon. They said that's their top priority. So, you know, the one time that, you know, government checks do come in and you don't have them signed up for direct deposit, you can't take the picture just yet, but it will be coming. And the second con being that not every company accepts Concentra Bank through a direct deposit list just yet, right? Even through my own company, whenever I reached out to change over my direct deposit, it to Neo Financial. They said they didn't have it, although they've already seen so many requests from people and it's their top priority as well. But obviously these cons pale in comparison to getting 1.8% on your money in a checking account, meaning it's not locked in. So you can go ahead about your day, spend money, pay bills, receive direct deposits, do everything like this while still making interest daily. If you want to get yourself a Neo Money account, make sure to use my referral link down below and get yourself a free $10 whenever you sign up today. But now on to Neo Financial's second and debt by far their flagship product Product, that's their Neo card, okay? Insanely high cashback rates, and we're gonna talk about that in some of the loyalty programs that they have. But as you can see, I have a slew of cards that I've gone through with. I even have even more cards that I haven't even shown off here. And I'm just addicted. It's what I get into is these cashback cards and how I can actually optimize on my purchases. But whenever it comes to Neo card, there's nothing like it. Now, the Neo card is a true credit card, okay? It is not a prepaid card and it's not a debit card. And the actual application to sign up is a real credit application and it will impact your credit score. Now, that's a short term hit to your credit score and obviously will be repaired whenever you actually, you know, make payments on this card, but you will need a 650 plus credit score to get this card or else you're going to need the Neo secured card for which you have to actually fund your purchases before you make them. Now going into the nitty gritties of this card, there are over 7,000 different companies on their loyalty programs that offer different cashbacks up to 20% down to only 1%. And depending on how you actually spend at these companies can determine how much you can make cash back on making your purchases. Now for being very real, the companies that are offering the 20 percent are usually no name smaller shops that are actually trying to attract your attention by giving these high cash backs so whenever you go on to the, you know the neos card and you actually look through their programs that you actually end up shopping from a company that you've never heard of and that's because they can offer you this high cash back now whenever it comes to the companies that you actually have heard of and the larger ones like for example dollarama they still offer four percent cash back on all purchases through dollarama or two percent through petro canada or something along these lines the bigger the companies are usually the smaller percentages 
that they have to offer because you're going to go and shop there anyway. But 4% cash back from a Dollarama still is not bad whenever you're going to go pick up like arts and craft supplies. I mean, that's all I really get at Dollarama, but still, I mean, it's still a bonus. Now, the majority of these loyalty programs are restaurants. So if you eat out a lot, make sure that you check the Neo card actually applies to the restaurant that you're going to because that could actually end up rewarding you up to like 10% at some restaurants, which is just amazing. Now, some programs are different than others. Some only offer really, really high cash backs whenever it comes to first purchases at those programs or something like Home Depot, where they'll offer up to 8% cash back for every $500 spent, which if you're remodeling a part of your home or going to just buy tools is a very easy goal to pass and get that cash back. But if you're just going to try to get that cash back, obviously you're not saving anything at all. You're going to be spending $500 to only get 8% back. So don't go to these places with an objective, but if you're already going there and need something, might as well get the cash back. But let me tell you where Neo Financial is lying to you. And I mean, if they're not lying, they're definitely deceiving. There is not a minimum 1% cash back on all of your purchases. There is a 1% top up. Now that's a very different outcome whenever it comes to the purchases that you wanna make. For example, if you go to a bunch of stores that are not actually on their loyalty program and purchase only those on your Neo card, those will be topped up to 1% after the full month statement has actually come out. But let's say within the month, you make four equal payments on your Neo card, all $10 each, one of them at Dollarama for 4%, and then three of them at, you know, places that are not on the loyalty program. Well, your card is actually not going to be topped up at all because that 4% actually brings you up to the 1% across those four purchases. So there won't be any top up at all. It's not a top up per purchase. It's a top up on your monthly statement. So my recommendation to you is that if you really want to maximize your cash back, get a free card like the Amex Simply Cash Back card. And then every time that a company is not on the actual loyalty program, spend it with the Amex and then just make sure that you're topping up both your cards. But one could argue that that might not even be the strategy that you want to do anyway because of the instant cash back that Neo Financial has to offer. For example, whenever you use an Amex card or really any of the other big credit card holders, they will actually offer you cash back annually, but then give you that money once a year, which means while the actual cash back is in its reward stage, you're not allowed to take it out or pay for your statement automatically. Neo Financial gives you that cash back instantly whenever you want it, meaning that you can actually start to earn 1.8% interest rates on the money that you've gotten from your cash back the same day. Plus, there are so many other benefits that you can get from using this card, like their powerful insights where they track your spending depending on the category that you're using, which kind of goes after companies like Mint. And then there's also, you know, virtual cards, so you're able to actually use this through Google Pay or Apple Pay, as well as other things like Tap to Freeze, where you can actually use this card, and depending on if you lose it, you can always freeze the card until you find the card, and then, you know, unfreeze it to continue using it again. Plus, considering the fact that they partner with MasterCard, there is a zero liability clause, considering that if you don't actually make a purchase, but you see something that shouldn't be there, you simply call up the card, you say, hey, I did not make this purchase, I want to make a dispute, and they'll absolutely cancel that transaction. Now, having auto pay on to instantly pay off your credit card balance is not unique to Neo Financial, but making it as easy and as transparent as Neo Financial does is actually very hard to come by. This allows you to turn on auto pay, so then whenever your statement actually does come due, it'll take it right out of your Neo Money account. That way, you'll have absolutely no way of actually paying an interest rate on your balance. I'm a pretty paranoid guy, so I check my balances like bi-weekly, but still knowing that there's a backstop on the other end to make sure that it still will never happen where I end up paying a balance is still a very good thing. Now, there are upgraded plans for Neo Financial, and you know, people have asked me if they should actually use these. There's a $3 version and a $9 version. I can instantly tell you that the $9 version is not worth it. Why triple the amount of cost that you're spending for only double the amount of rewards? So if you're going to use any, use the $3 reward because at least then it's actually proven useful. But still, I personally don't use it. You're going to want to make sure that you go to a lot of loyalty program, you know, companies that actually offer really high rewards just to make sure that you get across that barrier. And even then, you know, some days that you might not want to be making purchases or even, you know, to have the idea of you making purchases because you have that program there is just extra stress that's not needed just for $3 worth of bonuses. Personally, I wouldn't use any, but it's up to you and your discretion whether you want to use at least one of the programs, but I really would stay away from the $9 one unless you have a specific amount that you have to spend each month and you know that it is going to clear the balance. Now, there are cons to this card, and that's just the fact that I find the credit limit to be pretty low, only being around $2,500 and $10,000. So if you're a big spender and only use this single card, it could prove to be a problem, but this is why, you know, you carry extra cards with you. That way you never end up going over your limit. Now, if you want, do yourself a favor and use the referral code down below or use this barcode right here to get yourself a Neo card and get yourself a free $50 to end up either paying for the statement or just simply putting it into your Neo money account. Okay, stop. I'd like to run a little contest. If you've signed up for the Neo card down below using my referral link and DM me on Twitter, make sure you're following, I will send you an additional $100 if you can guess how many times I've said Neo in this video. And that one counted too. Neo, Neo, Neo. 
okay, let's get back to the video. Now, the next product in line for Neo Financial is Neo Invest. Now, Neo Invest, as of the time of recording this video, is in a beta phase. You must have both the Neo Money account and the Neo Card account to actually sign up for this product. But once you do have these two products, they have a very cool offering for you. Now, Neo Financial doesn't actually offer this product themselves. They do it through a partner called OneVest, but you do everything through their own app. They allow client-held RRSPs, TFSAs, and personal accounts for you to use and invest with through what they call a robo-advisor. Robo-advisors in the long term are usually quite good because the MER or management expense fees are actually quite low for you in the long run. OneVest has three types of main portfolios that you can choose from depending on your type of investment strategy. They have their core portfolios. These are the ones that they really recommend. And then they have client impact portfolios for people that want to invest, but they don't want to invest in the companies that might have a negative impact on the climate. And thirdly, they have a disruption and innovation portfolio, which really focuses on going after software and tech companies that are trying to innovate on how we live our lives. This personally is my favorite portfolio. Now, unlike most diversified portfolios that a normal TD bank or other financial institution will offer you, they usually offer stocks and bonds. But OneVest actually wants to step it up and offer stocks, bonds, real estate, cryptocurrencies, and everything in between. Obviously, it's dependent on your risk tolerance, but still having the option to choose between these different options really can help diversify and make a true financial plan for you. In the case of OneVest, the actual MER or management expense fees is 0.75%, okay? Now, that might not mean anything to you, but what that does mean is for every $10,000 that you have invested, about $75 is given towards the company each year. Regardless of how the portfolio does, whether it goes up or down, they take their $75 for every 10,000 or whatever percentage of that amount that you actually own. This type of fee is standard across the financial services industry, and the actual 0.75% is actually quite good for what it has to offer. You can find robo-advisors with less management expense fees, but they also don't offer this type of diversification either. Okay, for Neo's last product, we have Neo Mortgage, which is sort of a half product, sort of not. You can't actually pay your mortgage through the app yet, although you can still online. Applications on this product take about five minutes only, and what they actually do is they act as a broker going out to all the different lenders and actually trying to find the cheapest one for you, and then they will actually transact and, you know, allow the payments to be paid with Neo Money or, you know, something like this where it's actually attached to your Neo financial account. Every application that they get through Neo Money right now is actually assigned to a human associate that you can actually contact and, you know, be a one-on-one -on -one relationship with so then you can get the best service possible. And soon you'll actually be able to pay your bills directly through the app, which will be very, very exciting. They want to allow you to view your statement online, make additional payments, you know, start a new term renewal, do everything directly through the app. So that should be coming soon. But speaking of coming soon, there's actually a lot more that Neo Financial is working on in the short term that should be coming out very shortly. That's very, very excited whenever it comes to Canadian finance. First, we have Buy Now, Pay Later, which is a huge product in the United States and practically everywhere else in the, you know, the rest of the world, except for Canada, because none of the institutions offer it here. But Neo Financial wants to change that and they want to be able to offer you Buy Now, Pay Later, so then you can go out and buy a new laptop or iPad or something that would cost, you know, thousands of dollars and split your payments into four or eight different payment installations without any interest accrued on that actual purchase. They also want to get into monitoring your credit. That way you don't actually have to, you know, affect your credit score to see where your credit is. Now, there are other big competitors in this space like Credit Karma, but having it all under one super app would be a very good addition to this actual financial app. But that is pretty much it for Neo whenever it comes to their full financial suite as we have it today. And hopefully we'll continue to get new products that come out over time. Now, the same people that are making Neo Financial today were the same people that made Skip the Dishes before, okay? These founders are very smart Canadian investors who are just revolutionizing what we can actually have here in Canada. Without these options, you know, we would still be stuck to a lot more of the legacy players that end up charging way higher fees and not giving us what we truly deserve, which could be a 1.8% interest rate and up to an average of 5% cash back whenever it comes to our purchases on their loyalty programs. It's a huge offer for Canadians, but don't miss out. Make sure you use my referral link down below and get yourself earning today.